So far, we've learned how to run our test using GUI mode, meaning that as the test runs, we see the browser opening and we see all the steps being executed on the screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a test without opening the browser. This is called headless mode. Sometimes it may be useful to run our test in headless mode, as it consumes less resources. You may even notice slight improvements in test execution time. Welcome to Automate Now, I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. To begin, let's take a look at the method that is in charge of opening the browser for us. This is the one here, Open Browser. This is found inside of the Base Page class. You notice that what this does is that sets the driver to a new Chrome driver. We're going to refactor this method so that we can run our test in headless mode. But let's go ahead and add a comment here and say, run in headless mode. And there is something called Chrome Options. Chrome Options allows us to configure the Chrome driver session. So we're going to type Chrome Options and notice that this comes from selenium.chrome package. Then we can call this options and set it equal to new Chrome options. Next, we're going to say options dot add arguments. And this is what is going to allow us to pass in the configuration items that we're looking for. To run the test in headless mode, we simply say in quotes dash dash headless. Next, we need to modify this line here. When we instantiate Chrome driver, we need to pass in the options that we just described. So we're going to say options here. And we're all set. Now we're going to run a test. So let's go to the sandbox test class. And let's take a look at this test here that takes a screenshot of the entire web page. When this test runs, it's going to take a screenshot of the sandbox page at automatenow.io. And then it's going to save that screenshot as a PNG file. And it's going to store it in our project directory. Let's go ahead and run the test. Notice that the test passed, and now we see a new file here called screenshot.png. Let's open that file, and here we can see a screenshot of the page that we talked about. When this test ran, the browser did not open, but it was still able to capture a screenshot of the website. And this is because even though we don't see the browser opening before our eyes, it is still being rendered in memory, and Selenium is able to capture a screenshot for us. You will notice that the screenshot only shows a portion of the web page. We also see a scroll bar here on the right and some of the menu items are listed on a second row. This is due to the fact that, by default, running a test in headless mode causes the screen resolution to be 800 by 600. So let's go ahead and change those default parameters. We're going to go back to the base page class, and right after the headless argument, we're going to add a new argument. And we say options dot odd arguments, and in quotes, we're going to say dash dash window dash size. And then whatever resolution we want to use. I'm going to use 1920 by 1080. Before I rerun this test, let's take another look at this screenshot. When I rerun this test, it should capture a bigger area of the screen. Let's go ahead and close this and delete this screenshot. Now we're going to rerun the test. The test executed successfully. Now let's take a look at that screenshot again. And there you have it. The screenshot now shows a bigger area of the website. I showed you how to add the arguments in separate lines of code, but you can also add the arguments by adding a comma, like this. Then we can grab this and place it here. And this will work the same way it did before. If you would like to learn more about the different arguments that are available, we'll put a link to this page in the video description and also this page here. Now go and give headless mode a try. Let me know how it goes in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.